let us look at this question on complex numbers <coughs> so uh, the question is you want to look at uh, w and z so i want you to look at this so w is given to me it's blurry so i'll rewrite so w is 3 plus 2 i and z is 2 minus 2 i and this is z dash which is conjugate so g g dash or the conjugate of z would be 2 plus 2 r so i'll explain this first graphically so vect uh, sorry complex numbers can be understood as vectors okay so or in other words they are point in a plane now real numbers as you have learned up to year 12 or year 11 real numbers all real numbers can be plotted on a line but when you come to complex numbers you have to think of you can't you have to uh, say come out of line okay you have to think in a, in terms of a plane okay and that's called an organ plane organ plane or a complex plane in a complex plane you're thinking of two axes okay as x and y axis make up a plane x and the real arm and the imaginary arm make up the complex plane now the complex plane just for is not same as the plane of this smart board the argand plane this is actually perpendicular so this plane or the complex plane is perpendicular to the x y plane so i can't draw it in a 3d so you to visualize it so okay so let me move on so this is a 3 on the real arm or the real axis and this is 2i on the imaginary axis so this point in this plane is called w which is 3 plus 2i and this is 2 on the real arm or the real axis and uh, minus 2i is on this imaginary axis so this point is your uh, z which is 2 minus 2 r okay now the conjugate of z is the reflection of this point if the real axis is taken as a mirror line so if you reflect this point it will be 2 plus 2 r so 2 plus 2 r may be sitting here okay so this is your z dash which is 2 plus 2 r okay let me write that that is 2 plus 2 r so now you want to do uh, the maths or the arithmetics of multiplying and adding complex numbers so here you have to treat is treat this as simple algebraic expression so here this is two times w your w is 3 plus 2i plus your z dash or conjugate of z is 2 plus 2i am i right yeah okay so now you have to simply expand this as you have learned expanding brackets. So this is 2 times 3 is 6 plus 4i plus 2 plus 2i. Now after this, you can add the real part with the real part. So let me underline. So this is the real part and this is the real part. And you can add only the, uh, the complex number, or sorry, the imaginary part with the imaginary part. So getting back to so this is writing in 6 plus 2 are the real parts plus 4i plus 2i so the final answer is 8 plus 6i now this is a very simple question this can be an achieved question but you can do this on a calculator so if you go to run okay so let me delete this so go to option and f3 is complex numbers so you press f3 and then you can type in 2 times w which is 3 plus 2i just like that plus your z prime or z dash or conjugate of z is 2 plus 2i the calculator oh, i should have put this in bracket uh, it would not matter though but it's good to follow tradition of putting uh, in brackets so this is 2 plus 2i and you press enter oh so my if this is in i have to change the format go back and 
I want this in this form, A plus B I form. Okay, so here is the answer, 8 plus 6i. So the answer is correct. Okay, and you can be happy. And you can give yourself a smiley face. Okay, it is only an achieved question. You can't give any more smiley faces. Okay, the next question is, you're looking at U and V. Okay, so there's a formula when you're dividing complex number. So if Z1, uh, if Z1, this, let me write the formula down first. If Z1 is R1 cis theta 1, I'll explain this later graphically. Z2 is R2 cis theta 2. That's a good formula to remember when you're dividing conjugate, sorry, complex numbers. So Z1 divided by Z2 is R1 divided by R2. You have to just divide the, the modulus part cis theta 1 minus theta 2, just like that. Okay, now to explain this, so let me write my u, what's u? u is 2 cis pi by 3, which is pi by pi is 180. This is in radian, so I like to think in degrees first. So this is 2 cis 60, okay? Okay, now this cis is an abbreviation for 2 times cos 60 plus i sine 60. As mathematicians are lazy, they like to write abbreviations, okay? I'll explain this later. Now, v is, uh, where is v? v is 3 cis pi by, 3 cis pi by 2. Okay, uh, it's almost rugby time, so I'll have to leave quite early. So this is 3, uh, pi by 2 is 90, so 3 cis 90, uh, which is nothing but uh, 3 times, cis stands for cos 90 plus i sine 90. Okay, I'll, I'll come to this now. Okay, so let me explain that. Uh, so if you draw again the real and the imaginary axis, suppose this is the real. Oops. So if you draw, this is the imaginary axis and this is the real axis. So what does it mean? So this is the real and this is the imaginary. So when you say two cis sixty, ignore the six cis part. So two cis sixty just means it's a complex number which is at a distance of two units from your origin, okay? So it's a vector. Those who are learning, if you learn physics, you know a vector uh, has got two components. One is the magnitude and the other is the direction, okay? So this is a vector at a distance of two units. Suppose, say, let us mean, so this is a distance of two units. Suppose this is two units. Say this is one unit, one unit distance, and this is two unit distance, and at an angle of 60 degree. So this is your U, which means, or this is written like 2 cis uh, 60 degree. Okay, now, so why do we write U? Okay, I'll not go into that detail. Okay, so the next is your V is uh, 3 cis pi by 2. Pi by 2 is 90. So you go, to go a distance of 3. So this is a distance of, say, 3. Oops. Distance of 3. Suppose this is a distance of roughly 3. So say this is, say, 1. This is 2. And this is 3. So this is your V, which is 3 cis 90. So can you see this is 90 degree? Okay. So yeah, if you want to do this using the formula, this would be V over U is 3, let me write 3 cis 90, 3 cis 90 over 2 cis 60. So just you can divide the, this is called 
this number is called the modulus or the distance and this is called the argument or 90 is the argument okay and 60 is also the argument so this is 3 divided by 2 times 90 minus 60 just like that so this is 1.5630 so this is your answer now if you want to check your answer suppose if you in the exam you don't know, remember this formula this is a very neat elegant formula you can do by change this into this form and you can also do by uh, multiplying by that it's a very lengthy process i'm not going into that okay so let me look at the one more question here two more questions okay so yeah write u as a complex number in the con in the rectangular form what's u u is Okay, so we want to change this into, finally, this is 1.6, 6, because the question was in radians. So, 60, 30 is pi by 6. So, this is your answer. 1.5, pi by 6, 30. And 180 divided by 6 is 30. Okay, now U, we know, is 2, 6, now the question is we have already done that I think so this is in the rectangular form okay so you we know is we have written like this so you is nothing but 2 times cos 60 plus I sine 60 so this is 2 times cos 60 plus 2 I Sine 60. Now we can do this on a calculator, but you should know how to do without the calculator. So this is 2 cos of 60 is uh, half. I know that. I'll show you later on the calculator. So this is 2 times 2i times sine 60 is root 3 over 2. Okay. So this is 1 plus this, this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. 1 plus root 3i. Okay, so the calculator will give you the answer is nothing but 1 plus 1.73 dot, 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 dot i. This is the answer. So now how to do this on calculator? Uh, you can go like this. So you go, uh, what am I doing here? My, this is not working. Okay, I got stuck here. Hmm. I can't move this calculator. Okay, see you in the next video.